Hi guys, my name is Matt and I'm from Bristol Co. And today I wanted to show you how to make both a longer coffee with a twist press and also an espresso style one. And we're just going to walk through the steps of how we create different types of brews. And at the end we're going to measure the scores and the strength ratings on a coffee refractor meter. So first obviously we start with a boiled kettle. So I'm just going to put that on so we get a fresh boil. Because we need that to be around 95 degrees for optimum extraction. Okay. So that's boiled. I'm going to pour this over into our uh, gooseneck jug just so we can get an accurate reading. And for a longer style drink, we want about 200 millilitres of water. Okay. Just going to open up our twist press. So that's for some screws. Take out the helix chamber and we're left with our handle. Put that on top of your cup. We've got a single paper filter which comes in the box. Just place that on top. We're actually going to wet that with our kettle water. This also will preheat our mug and just allows the coffee to extract a bit better. Once that water's run through the filter paper, just discard that excess because we don't want that in our cup. Attach the helix chamber. Now for our long style drink, we want about 15 grams of a medium fine grind of coffee. That was ground just before this video. Make sure that's all gone in. It's going to level that out just to create a level surface. Now we're just going to grab our pre-weighed water, so that's 200 grams. I'm just going to fill this about half first, so about 100 grams of water, then give it a stir, and then fill up with the remaining 200. So like I said, about halfway. Give that a stir. Fill up the rest. Okay, we start our brew timer. So we're gonna let this brew for about two minutes altogether. Insert the chip, heal it, the uh, handle in the plunger. So I just want to push that in just so the plunger engages a little bit. And if we pull that back very slightly, it creates a vacuum which is going to hold the coffee in the chamber and stops it from dripping. We'll just leave that for about two minutes. Okay, so now my two minutes are up. I'm going to twist these handles together. Now you just want to apply some light force. We don't want to uh, come across any major resistance. So this is just nice, easy, slow twisting. Now this is really easy, so I could just use my fingertips to pull these together. So just keep squeezing until you hear the air at the end. that little shape and there is our long black coffee we can either add water to this or milk to make a uh, regular white coffee uh, and we're going to just leave that till later but for now we're just going to show you how to uh, clean the twist press so we just unscrew the helix handle just untwist that this will be over your bin at the time we just empty those all into your bin. Just rinse this under your tap. You only need to really do the helix chamber and the plunger. Okay, and that's, pre that's pre pretty much done. Give it a quick dry, just ready for our next brew. Yeah.
that's how easy it is to clean. So we now move on to our uh, shorter coffee. So we call this uh, espresso style. It's not a uh, normal espresso because you need an espresso machine to create the pressure. But it's as close you'll get with a uh, manual coffee making method. I'm going to put our kettle back on boil. this water again. And get our jug ready. So for this espresso style drink we need about the same amount of coffee, 15 grams, but we only need 60 grams of water. So there is our 60, roughly. Empty that water. Now for this espresso style drink, I've actually used two filter papers. This just gives us a bit of increased thickness and slows the drip rate. So it allows, because we're only using a short amount of uh, short amount of water, we want to just keep as much in that chamber as possible. This time we're using the really fine grind of coffee. So 15 grams fine grind coffee. Similar kind of grind you'll see to an espresso or a stove top. Add that, level it out. Now for this brew we only need one minute in total. I'm actually going to start that uh, as, as, I add the as I add the hot water. Now we just add the full 60 grams of water. Doesn't look like much. Give that a stir for about five to 10 seconds. See the timer is still going, but that's okay. Just insert the plunger just at the top, just so it engages. Pull it back a bit, just create that vacuum. So we want to try to reduce the amount of drips that we're getting on this. Okay, and that's our 60 seconds up, so I'm just going to start twisting this. And once again, you just want a low, a slow controlled twist. So there's going to be a high amount of pressure in this cup. Right guys, so now our coffee's had a chance to cool down, we can now put them through our coffee TDS meter. Now essentially what this tool uh, does is going to read the TDS, which stands for Total Dissolved Solubles in our coffee, and tells us if it's a suitable strength or not. Now there's a different strength uh, target for an espresso style drink and a longer style coffee. So we will start off with our espresso style. So we're just going to swell the sample a little bit just to give us an accurate reading. Take a little sample. Attach our filter. And put a few drops on our TDS meter. Okay. Now you close that and leave it for about 10 seconds. Now essentially the score we want to hit with uh, an espresso style drink is around 6. Uh, between 5 and 7 would be okay, but the sweet spot is about 6 for an espresso style cup. So let's go ahead and get the reading. Okay, so it's coming out about 6.49. 
So uh, a really good strength uh, espresso style shot. Uh, and with that, you can either drink that straight like an espresso, or you can use that as the base for a cappuccino or a latte, or you could just pop it up and make it a black Americano if you wanted to drink from an espresso style shop. Okay, so let's just get this cleaned up. Ready to test our longer coffee. Okay. Now with the longer style cup, uh, we don't want to be hitting a 6.5 TDS score because that's going to be a lot of strong coffee. And obviously we don't buy espresso shots in a full cup. So we, with this style longer drink, we want to be aiming for uh, around 1.15 to 1.45 TDS strength. So we'll take a new sample. filter and another couple of drops close the lid wait about 10 seconds again Okay, so we're talking about 1.44. Um, so let's just try that again, because sometimes we can get different readings. One point four four. One point four four. Okay, so this cup that we've just done is uh, classed as a strong coffee. So like I said, the the, the SA golden cup ratio is about 1.15 to 1.45. So we're hitting right at the top of the SCA recommended cup. Um, but this, this is great because we made the twist press to produce strong coffee. So this is a nice cup of strong coffee. You can dilute that with a bit more water if you wanted to, or you can add some milk and turn it into a white coffee. Um, but yeah, that's how we make two different styles of drink with the twist press. You can use the twist press to make uh, two portions if you wanted to. Just double up on the uh, single serve espresso uh, units that we did so instead of 15 grams to 60 grams of water we use 30 grams of coffee to 120 grams of water brew in the same way just 60 seconds and that will give you a double shot serving and you can use that to spread across two cups and make two different drinks uh, yeah so any questions get in touch uh, we look forward to hearing from you thanks